Hey there, so in the last lesson, we've um, taken a look at how the translucency works in materials and how is the difference between um, opacity and opacity mask. If you haven't watched it, you can with this link here. So in this lesson, we are going to be um, explaining how the refraction works and we are going to um, create a glass material using it. So we are going to set everything to default lit and this one to non-directional and also I'm going to delete these two um, hold tree on your keyboard left click this is the um, color for your for your glass I'm gonna go ahead and change it a bit a little bit you can go ahead and change the color of the glass to red, blue, yellow, or whatever you want. It's just something that works fine for me. Um, in the opacity section, we're gonna be using, um, holding one on your keyboard and left click, something like, what three would do. I mean, it, is, it depends on you, you can change it later on. You, I mean, I, I uh, definitely recommend you Go ahead and play around with everything I explained here. Don't you just use my values. You go ahead and probably, I mean, I would definitely try five to see what happens or 0.2 or 0.8. That's what, sh what you should do too. So for the refraction, we're going to, we are going to use lerp. Just hold L on your keyboard and left click. Um, and for the first value, you are going to be using one. This suggested by the Unreal Engine itself. And what they suggest for glass is you should be using 1.52. I've used 50 for this as well, and that looked amazing. Let me tell you. And Fresnel is what we're gonna be using. Um, you can go ahead and change these values. Um, exponent and this one, changing these two will change the refraction so, so much drastically. So let's see. Um, where was it actually? Okay, so this is the glass material that we have right now doesn't look that good it's just something it's just meh it's not bad it's not good it's, it's just different so how we can make it better <laughs> so remember i told you that uh this is volume non-directional we can go ahead and make it on lit as well but um, instead of that we can just use emissive color instead <clears throat> and if it, it's too much, just hold M on your keyboard and probably multiply it by something like 0.3. So it doesn't look any different, but the performance is definitely different. So if you want it to look better, we can do something else. So let's get rid of this and uh, set it to default lit <coughs> this lighting mode with changing it a lot of new nodes will be available for us so people are saying that surface translucency volume is the way to go but if you really want to get yourself caught in the shader complexity yeah that's the way to go uh, if you don't really need surface translucency volume then don't use it but Anyway, I'm gonna be explaining it right now. So with using it, if, if you're just using volumetric directional, you will be having a normal map, which is really important for the refraction, let me tell you. Uh, something else. So we have a normal map that was really handy in here. Let me see, uh, this one works too. Let's just say what a normal map. I know if that's obvious, but the refraction breaks. See in here, this is because we're using a normal map. So let's, 
it's just a normal refraction without any texture on it and this is with the normal map so the difference between volumetric directional and non-directional oh actually they've added this too okay so you can use a normal in volumetric non-directional but if you want to go ahead and use uh, specular and roughness then surface translucency volume let's <coughs> go some, to some like 0.1 in roughness and then something really crazy in this might do let's see <coughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, that was a bug, but I mean, that's cool. That's at least better than nothing. But I would say that the texture is a little bit big. So probably texture coordinate would help. Five, five might do that trick. Oh, look at that. Let's, let's go crazy with this one, maybe 50. <laughs> let's see what happens. <coughs> okay, that's a diamond there. It's not even glass anymore. That's a diamond. It's a true diamond. <laughs> look at that. Okay, it's a nice shader we uh, created in here, but um, so this lesson's finished, that was it. I'm just suggesting you to go ahead and play around with all the nodes you hear, all the values, all, all the nodes, try to add new lerps, try to um, add new textures, multiply textures together, multiply textures with colors, um, try to use sign values, sign node in here, try to um, change this one, change the values in here, anything you could do actually to learn more and see what happens next. Um, I hope this helped and if it did, please hit that like button. Cheers.